Hey everyone, my name is Devin Leslie and I'm here today with my husband David and we would like to share with you a little bit about my journey and our journey together in and where we feel like the future lies with not only our family but many other other families in this wonderful company that we are now a part of. Um, a little bit of background on me. I was a single mom of six when um, life kind of had some some curveballs sent my way and I lost my job. I was losing my home and I was in court for custody issues. So um, we were struggling terribly. I did not, um, I didn't have a whole lot of support at that point. I wasn't married. Um, I was just beginning to date David and I just was struggling with what to do with my life because my background was in high school education. I was a teacher and I have a master's degree in counseling. So for a while I was a school counselor and that was what I knew. That was my reality and I knew that that was my calling. So when I suddenly had to get a job in the roofing business, I was like a fish out of water. Um, I don't feel like I did really well with it, but God has a purpose. So during that journey of being in the roofing company, I met David. And so I see now why God had that happen. But um, the day I lost that job, um, I was just struck with panic. You know, what was I going to do? Um, a few days later, an opportunity came across my lap, and um, it was a skincare business. And when I first heard about it, I was so incensed that someone had even suggested that to me because at this point, I just needed to feed my children. We weren't looking for anything extra. It was literally food lines, government agencies, um, government health care. I just needed to be able to feed them. And so the thought of selling was not anywhere near what I wanted to do. Plus, I'd kind of been in hiding and was embarrassed of my life and the fact that I was a single mom with so many kids and I'd lost a job. And I mean, there was just a lot that I was um, insecure about. So I wasn't talking to people. And thinking of talking to people scared me to death. So this business I could see involved sales and talking to people. So I knew immediately it was not for me and then God wouldn't have me do that because he knows that I'm scared. But one of the people I talked to about this was David. And we had been dating for a little while and he, he checked with me about it. He goes, what is it? And I told him the name of the company. I said, it's Rodan and Fields. It's the doctors that created Proactive. And he said, well, I'm gonna check on that a little bit. So then a day or two later, we met up again and he said, so what have you de decided about Rodan and Fields? And I said, I'm not doing that. I think that's terrible. I think salespeople are icky and I don't want anything to do with that. Never mind that he was a salesperson, was a salesperson. <laughs> but I did not want to have anything to do with it at all. And so he said, okay, I understand. He said, but do you do realize that this, these doctors have already created a billion dollar brand and they're probably going to do it again. And I'm like, that's fine. That has nothing to do with me. And he said, well, actually it could. And again, I was like, nope, I don't wanna have anything to do with it, you're crazy. And so he checked back with me again another time and I was still like, nope, 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 not gonna do it. Well, about the third time he checked back in with me and he goes, you know what, Devin, I get it. I get it, you don't wanna do it. I get it that you're afraid. I get it that it's not what you feel like you were trained to do. He said, so this is what's gonna happen. If you choose not to do it, then I'm going to do it. Well, that hit me like a ton of bricks because I said, no, you're not. That's mine, I'm gonna do it because I was not gonna let him take this away from me. And all of a sudden I became very, very territorial about the whole opportunity. I didn't understand it. I knew that he did, and that was enough for me at that point. So I'm gonna pass it over and let you talk to him about his insight and what he saw that I couldn't. Well, the first thing that struck me was, who were these doctors who were starting a, 
didn't even really understand what it was. Some kind of anti-aging cream, I don't know. So I looked into it and found out who they were. And they were Rodan and Fields, who had started Proactive. They were practicing dermatologists who had an amazingly successful practice of their own that they still saw people in. So it was something that they were incredibly passionate about. And yet, with Proactive, they grabbed a market and are the most dominant anti-acne treatment in the entire world. And they did it at a time and with a, a process that it just made no sense because they went through infomercials. A little background about me, my whole life has been business. I've been recruited to, I've, I've done sales, I've helped build, build businesses, I've owned my own businesses, I've built business plans and structures. And, and one of the key things that I do is help, build, help people build businesses that will grow into the future. And when I really looked at what Rodan and Fields was doing, it was so obvious this was a no-brainer. Here were two people who had a passion for an industry, who loved what they did, could see it changed acne, and now they were going after a market that was worldwide and affected not just teenagers, but anybody who had skin and was aging. Mm -hmm. How could you not look into that or see what was happening? And then when we looked at how they had set up the business, how they had put it together so that every individual would have the opportunity to share in their success. You're kidding. Why, why wouldn't you want to do this? And the whole process was, is you were the walking billboard. You got the opportunity to use the products, see how they worked, and the next thing you know, your friends are asking you, did you color your hair? Did you lose weight? All these questions and the whole time, she was aging younger. And that's how the business was set up. And that it was this opportunity of not selling, per se, but to actually be the billboard. Mm -hmm. And I then stepped back and looked at it and said, and it was in 2016, said, is this real? So we went back and looked at it. And I, I was, at the time, was working for an organization that had been in business for 75 years. They had 12 manufacturing facilities across North America, both in Canada and US, in Lowe's and Home Depot, and had a banner year of over $5 million, $500 million. That year, Rodan and Fields did $629 million and had only been in business seven years. How could a bunch of ladies washing their face <laughs> And going around and telling people, hey, I washed my face, how is it possible that they could do, you know, $629 million if there wasn't something substantially there? And they did it in a way that fit to the times that we're living in by doing things like not being brick and mortar. You know, we look at Amazon and you place an order and it shows up on your front door. They have amazing technology through like the Pulse, the whole network. I would, one of the responsibilities I had was to integrate these business processes. It's on her phone. Mm -hmm. Every aspect of the opportunity just is so amazingly well thought out built on reality, and more importantly, built on what is happening in society today. We don't go to brick and mortar anymore. We don't feel it or look at it and think what we think about it. We go to the internet and how many did the reviews say? Mm -hmm. And then, the, then we place an order and it magically shows up at our front door. And here is that exact situation set up by the doctors who created Proactive and have the ability now to share that future with everybody who's working with them. And it's so incredible because when I started out, as I said, it was all about a little bit of grocery money. I just celebrated my third year with this business. And 
I can now say that um, my paychecks cover a whole lot more than a few groceries. Yes, they do. It helps a lot with our family. It is now I get to see past that. Now I get to plan for our future. Mm -hmm. I get to contribute, which was so important to me in my marriage as a mom and as a wife was to be able to contribute so my children, my husband, we could do things that we wouldn't normally do and have things that we wouldn't normally have. And it grows every month. We, there are two ways to be successful in this business. You can, actually there's three. You can be a brand representative and you can talk about how much you love the products and use the products and you can be a product ambassador. Or you can build a team and um, help others be able to do what I'm able to do, what you're able to do now. We are as a team. So David and I, and we do this together, we decided to go both routes. So we are very much product ambassadors. We love the products. We use the products. Um, and we love sharing that with people. But we also decided to build a team. Yes. And together we named that team, Team Bless a Life, because we feel like that's what this business does. It blesses lives. It allows us to bless people through the product and feeling better and healing uh, acne that they've struggled with their whole life or sensitive skin or get rid of the dark marks that, so they, yeah, that they've just hated for so long. Um, and just to get rid of the fine lines and wrinkles. And we all know we feel better when we can do that. So we, that part's important to us, but we also love building the team and empowering women. We, we help single moms. And guys too. And guys, yes, we have men on our team. We work with um, married women. We have women from all walks of life, um, most with full-time jobs. So this is a side business that they can do in addition to their regular jobs. And some of them, many of them, are doing very, very well. In fact, there are people on my team that make more money than I do. So that's what you hope for. That's what you hope for is to grow something and let people participate in and succeed at it. And so that's why we created um, our team mm -hmm. and why we just find this so fun and um, we want to tell more people about it. A lot of times we attract women, but it's not just women. Mm -hmm. We have the men now. We have husbands on our team. We have um, husband-wife uh, consultants on our team like David and me. And we just, we've created a family. We've created a, a support system that spans the entire country. country. We, I mean, ha we have people on our team literally from coast to coast. Yes, and we are hoping to grow into Australia soon and just expand um, expand there, expand our networks, expand our businesses and grow with people there so they can experience some of the same uh, amazing benefits that we have. And we can share with them. Yeah. I mean, this is for us and ultimately we're put on this earth to do two things. One is to connect with God and then connect with other people. When it's all said and done, you know, the house and the car and all, it doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. It's the relationships you have. And, and for us, this has given us the ability to impact people's lives and to connect with them. So that's a little bit about us. If you would contact the consultant or the person who shared this video mm -hmm. with you, Talk to them about what there is to offer with Rodan and Fields. David and I would be glad to, to speak with you together individually as well, but we wanted to give you kind of a glimpse into our heart behind the, the team that we have and the business that we run. And just to say we, we welcome you. We would love to have you join us and, um, and welcome any questions that you might have as well. Anything else? That's it. All right. Thanks, everyone. See you.